Okay, this is the final on the Star Trek concept shuttle. This is my tribute build to Boyd Crompton from Trekworks. Uh, Boyd and I have been friends for a long, long time. Uh, 12 plus years. Uh, I was an avid member on his sci-fi model action board. Uh, those that uh, that were on that board my my board name was anything sci-fi so if any of you guys remember me you know yay <laughs> but uh, Boyd is uh, is definitely going to be missed like I say he, he's been my buddy for a long time and I'm really going to miss him uh, Boyd was a really good guy about uh, Helping out, he didn't, you know he was always doing his videos were always uh, informative, and he'd be more than happy to answer any questions and you know help you in any possible way he could. Um, he's just just an all around you know great guy, hell of a guy, and he will be missed. But um, like I say, this is a, this is a 3D printed. Star Trek concept shuttle this is a 3d printed model uh, the only things that I did not 3d print were the glass and I've got two figures and I've got a pointy stick here but I'm still using my fat finger I've got a figure here and I've got a, a figure inside the figure inside is just a generic red shirt I uh, just painted blocked in colors uh, I, I didn't do a whole lot of detail painting to the figures this is uh, supposed to represent Spock and I, this, it has doors like this on both sides. I didn't see any need to open up the other side uh, since Spock is here greeting the executives that uh, would be entering the shuttle. This is kind of like a, uh, a um, reserved shuttle, if you will. Take me a minute to figure, to figure out my words. Um, you can get this model now on uh, cosmic scale models it comes in 172nd scale and I believe it has figures as well uh, like I say this is a 132 scale you have the uh, if you buy the files uh, you can print it out in 172 scale or 148 scale I, I believe but uh, this one here uh, with the, the help of a good friend Mr. Jeffrey Fink uh, we've got the uh, the dimensions figured out for me to print it to 132 scale uh, so it would be in line with with the figures like I say I, I wish I had more figures to go in it but I've got an upcoming build uh, of the Star Trek original series bridge and I just I have just enough figures to populate that uh, that bridge I had an extra Spock and an extra guy to make a red shirt out of um, because I've got two of the Star Trek uh, uh, bridge kits. I've got the newest release and then I've got the old one that uh, is missing parts or it's not missing parts But it's just not doesn't have the parts to make the the full surround of the bridge um, The only lights I thought about putting nav lights and strobe lights on this and I decided against it uh, The only lights I have there's an interior light. I used um, uh, strip LEDs bright white to light up the interior and I've got the dashboard uh, lit up and then the two nacelle end caps I put uh, an orange flickering LED in each one of those and that's all the lighting I've got uh, I'm trying to think of what else to say uh, the um, decals were printed out 
uh, by me and you can see some silvering here uh, on, the, on the Galileo there's there's a little bit of silvering on all of it um, I use a new decal paper and I literally hate the crap so I'll be getting more more decal paper it comes off uh, after I spray the clear coat and it it dried for I know a week um, it still come off and the decals are rubbery instead of being uh, nice and crisp and where I, I had the doors closed when I, I put the stripes on and so I come back in to cut the stripes and they were rubbery and I had a hell of a time just cutting the the door out you know because you can see the uh, barely see the stripe on the top right there I'd like to say I had the doors closed when I put the the decals on there sorry Spock uh, and I'll go ahead and turn it around a little bit show you what and all we've done we show you what and all I've done uh, camera was kind of making the nacelles look a little wonky they're they're straight I don't know what to say but uh here on the back is where my battery compartment is this little deal comes off it's kind of not so easy to take off sometimes it is and sometimes it wants to fight with me and this is going to be one of the times it wants to fight with me it just doesn't want to come off there we go uh, inside here is a red switch and a 9 volt battery and I'll go ahead and, and switch it on so I can sit this down easier without dropping it I'll turn this light out and there it is like I say put uh, and they're showing up yellow but they're actually orange um, LEDs flickering LEDs in there now I'll go ahead and take this off the camera mount for a moment you can see the you can see the red shirt in there and just a second get my camera thing out of the way so it doesn't bang me in the head Sorry, now I've got big old fingers in the way too. You can see the inside. Yeah, my glue, is, I, I've got to go back in and, and take some alcohol and clean up the glue a little bit. And turn it all around. And you can see the dash is lit up in there. Uh, one thing that uh, I wanted to say was... Um, I used a two liter bottle to make these windows because it had the perfect curvature. Uh, if you're going to do that, wait till the last minute to cut your glass. Because I, I cut this this glass out uh, probably, I don't know, seven, six, seven days ago. And this center windshield just, just, um, you know, like I say, when I first cut it, it had the perfect curvature, but it it draw it drew itself in, and I, I had a hell of a time getting it. That's why there's so much glue on the bottom of it. Um, I had a hell of a time getting it lined back out. But I'm gonna put this back on my little camera mount here. There we go. Uh, turn out a little bit more light. There we go. You can see the. Well, can't really see it anyway, can you? Sorry, my camera, uh, my lighting sucks here. But anyway, that's the uh, the final of it. Uh, going to go ahead and just add this to the collection. But uh, I know what I can do. Uh, let's see. Turn down the exposure. Now that's more like it. You can actually see it's not being washed out as much now. You can actually see the the orange of the 
of the uh, nacelles and then you can see the the lighting inside there as well but yep yeah, this was a this was a very very fun build to do um, I will be doing more of the 3d printed builds uh, I have trouble with doing like if the, if the model has a lot of glass to it um, I don't have a way right now to vacuum form anything uh, normally I would just print up the you know the uh, it gives you the files for the windshield and everything so I would print those up and then just put them down on my vacuum former and make vacuum form windows uh, but right now I don't have any of the uh, vacuum form boxes and stuff that I used to have I've got I've got a toaster oven that I'm going to be using but uh, uh, and I've got some plastic so oh, excuse me so it's just me getting off my lazy butt and and making a couple of uh, of uh, vacuum form boxes I have to have one because the ups, upcoming Star Trek uh, bridge build I've got to have one that I can uh, one vacuum form box that I can vacuum for me uh, the top very top of the dome uh, it's gonna be like eight inches uh, so I've got to make I'm gonna make a 12 by 12 uh, vacuum form box so I can vacuum form that um, and then I'm gonna make a smaller one I've got one of the you know, the small uh, Mattel um, vacuum formers it, it's like a little four inch vacuum form uh, it belonged to my my good friend Chris Cortell I was able to to get it uh, from the estate sale and everything uh, Chris rebuilt it so it's in in fantastic shape so I can do small vacuum form jobs but I can't do the larger ones until I get the boxes built but anyway I'm gonna turn some of these lights back on readjust my settings here okay but uh, that's going to be it uh, for those of you that followed along uh, and I know I'm missing something that I was going to say on this, but anyway, I just want to say thanks for following along, guys. And uh, I would really love to see more tribute builds to to uh, Boyd. Not seeing very many of them. Normally, I would host a a group build, uh, you know, for doing a tribute build like I did for Chris Cortell, you know, Classic Plastic 101. But I just don't have the the time or the energy to to uh to host a build like that and so i do apologize for that but anyway thanks for watching guys and take care